the next for the decision statement that you have available is switch statement so let us see how does this switch statement work and what is it all about if you see here it says that a switch statement allows a variable to be tested against a list of values that is we will just take an example for better understanding about a switch statement example a student has received a report card with certain grade it may be a b c d and so on so it says that it will go and check each and every case here each and every case will hold a value here in our example a b and so on are the values grade a grade b and so on are the values so what it checks is that if the student has obtained a grade a then please print excellent if the student has obtained grade b please print very good and so on so a switch statement will enable you to check the value of a variable in comparison with the list of values available so let us see how does this switch statement work it says that with the help of a keyword called switch then the expression and it may have one or more number of cases where each case is holding a value in our example it was holding a value of grade a b and so on and if it meets a then the number of statement is executed so let us see what are the rules to write a switch statement it says that these are the few listed rules that needs to be obtained or maintained when you write a switch statement it says that a switch statement can only have integer values and even if you are having any other values in our example we were taking a characters a b c and all so all these character or byte types are convertible integers therefore the switch statement will allow the integer values or the values which can be converted into integer then it says that you can have any number of key statement under your switch see a switch is which allows or which compare a particular variable with number of values so in our case we have a b c d e grade they may be have f g h and so on so the number of cases will or are not limited third one it says that the value of case must be the same data type of the variable as in a first point we have covered it should be an integer or convertible integer in our example we are trying to compare with the grade therefore the variable that you create should be of a char type because our value in each of the cases are of char type that is a b c and so on the next one it says that when the variable being switched on is equal to the case the statements following that case will execute until a break statement is deleted let me explain all of them together how a break statement work in our previous classes we have learned how a break statement work and how it is useful so it says that a switch statement helps you to check or compare a variable value with each of the listed value so let us take an example where we say the variable is grade the name of the variable we are giving grade but it is of a type char so we write char grade and then colon and then for each of these grade we are providing a case value and the case value will be a b c we say case a case b case c and so on so it says that a switch statement will keep traversing to each of the cases until it matches one of the condition that is first the second it says that once it matches to the value it will execute the block of statement under that particular case and if there is a break statement encountered in that particular state then it will not execute the rest of the statements in switch case and it will come outside the switch so it means to say that all the statements it will keep executing until unless there is a break statement encountered irrespective of one of the value being satisfied let us again consider our example we say that the student has obtained a grade b so first it goes check case a no it is not being satisfied then it goes case b yes it is satisfied because the student has obtained b it will execute print that the student has obtained or the student is very good 
if there is a break statement or break keyword falling to this statement where the student is very good then the control terminates there and it will come outside the switch statement but if no break keyword is encountered after this particular line what happens it will keep checking for the rest of the case values that is c t e and so on but then you should have a last or a final output what if none of the values are matched what do you do in that case you can have a default case where you can provide an any output or a block of statement which needs to be executed if none of the value satisfied so let us understand in detail with the help of an example program we before that here we have provided a graph for our better understanding it says that expression that is if grade is equal to so and so if it is equal to a so we see if the student is a b c so if it is a it will go and check in the case one is it a yes it will execute this code if we are checking for b for an example first it goes to code block one it checks right so case one is it a no therefore it comes with case two is it b yes please execute this block and then terminate if none of the cases or the value matches with your expression in that case what you do is that you come to your default value break and then execute in this example we have used switch statement with certain cases to understand we have created a class and with a variable of cat type the variable name is gray and the value is c so we are trying to compare if the value is equal to c then please print this block of statements so first is case a how do you write you write the switch keyword in the bracket you write the variable name that you want to compare with then open and close braces okay and open first you write first case and this case keyword will start with a lower case case and then because your case value is of a cat type you provide in single quotes you write case cat type is a followed with a colon this colon is necessary otherwise it will throw you an error so once you provide a colon please execute this block of statement i say if my grade is equal to a please print this block of statement and break and if this break encounters none of these statements will be executed and it will come outside the switch but in our case it is not a we are trying to compare grade value which is c therefore it comes to b b has nothing we can leave it or you can write any of the statements if you want to then it checks for c yes our grade value is c therefore the case value c is satisfied now this block of statement will be executed which says that well done but you have here a break statement therefore the rest of the statements will not be executed what if you did not have this break statement here it would still have come print the value well done and then it the control move to the next case the switched case will not stop until unless you find a break keyword for example you did not have a break keyword here once it prints well done it will go for case d e f and so on and then it finds a break statement it will come if none of these conditions were satisfied then there's a default colon and it will print this invalid grid and if none of these conditions are satisfied neither default and you want to print outside anything you can provide your grade is this so and so so you say case a yes it is satisfied the value of grade is c therefore your grade is c this will be printed so let us see practically how can you execute this program and what are the differences when you consider a break keyword or not in this example we'll see how does the switch works so we have created a variable called as a char and the variable name is grade and the value of this character is b because switch statement works with the primitive data types and it can hold the value for char int byte or short so as char holds a single character so the value of grade is b now to write switch statement we first write the switch keyword and then in the brackets we write the variable name we write the variable name to test if this variable satisfy one of the condition and the conditions here are written in this 
in case and then one default. So a statement in the switch block can be labeled with one or more cases or default labels. And the switch statement evaluates its expression that is great and then executes the statement. So here each case is nothing but it holds a value. First case holds a value as A which is of a char type. Second case holds a value B. Third case holds a value of C and so on you can write but finally you need to write a default. The first case which holds a value A. So the switch first gets the value as B is the grade B then it comes here. No it is not satisfying it goes check the next case. So the next case yes it is B it should print the statement or the block of statements under the case which is system dot out dot print ln good the output should be printed as good. Generally we provide a break statement after the case so that it does not go execute the rest of the cases and the loop executes there itself or it terminates there itself. For example here we did not provide the break statement what happens if no break statement is given the control moves to the next case. In this case the control will move to case C and it will print poor and then if you provide break the rest default statement will not be printed it comes outside the loop and execute the rest of the statements. We save and run the file. If you see here in the console it prints good because the character value of grade is B therefore it prints B that is good and because we have not provided the break statement it the control move to the next case and will print poor and then the break will help you to terminate or come outside the switch. Outside the switch, whatever the statements are there, it will then execute that. And the statement is to print what grade it is and that is B because grade value you have given as B here. What if I provide a switch, a break statement in case B. Let us save and execute this file. Now if you see, it satisfied the condition B and will print good and break will enable you to come outside the switch block and then execute the rest of the statements.